Welcome to Shorty Supercoach. Season 2019 got underway on the weekend and there were some mixed results for some. I'll take a look at my side in a minute. I think generally speaking, there weren't too many surprises from the player points point of view. There, there were a lot of upsets overall, but I will take a look at how we went in terms of rankings and what I scored. 2088 puts me near the 30,000 mark, but there's not much that separates teams at the minute, so I'll take that, you know, I think it's okay. Um, would have loved to be been a bit better. There were certainly a few players that didn't go as well as I might have liked. Um, but hey, I think overall it's not a shocker. I think there's a potential to have a really poor start of the year and find yourself well, well beyond the pack. And, you know, that, that just puts me, you know, I'm, I'm off the pack, but you can make that right up with a good round two. And, and I'll take a look at my team now. And look, Laird and Whitfield were really solid, just as I expected and as all you did too out there. Williams looked good. Watching the game without checking the scores, I thought may have scored a bit more, but, you know, it's all right. Collins was really disappointing. You know, he just couldn't find the ball, um, which doesn't, doesn't end well more often than not. Um, so, look, that probably makes him questionable his scoring capacity and he looked to be really solid in the preseason. I'm not going to be dropping him or anything, but I certainly think I'll second guess whether I'll field him or not. Um, Clark was really good. I thought he looked really good and Hoare probably worked into the game. I didn't see all that game, but listening to Goodwin's press conference, he felt that he got better as the day wore on. Wilkie was really good for Saints, you know, good first up score. And Burgess followed a similar line as Collins, just didn't quite get into it. Um, Cripps, 126, I loopholed him. I thought there's no point being greedy at the minute. And, and to be honest, the other one I was sort of considering was Oliver. So I would have torn my hair out if I did that decision. Um, and Oliver was disappointing. Um, as were the Ds. You know, I was listening to it on the radio and normally you hear his name popping up all the time and those little handballs in and under. I was barely hearing his name. He worked his way to a 70, but nothing impressive at all. So you back him in to respond. I mean, I'm not going to go trading him out like some people do. They get the trigger fingers happy and they go, bang, see you later. Let's, let's calm down and let's not trade him out. Um, but he was dis disappointing. Uh, particularly, you know, Fife's probably the guy that I would have contemplated in place of him. So that probably hurts. Um, Neil, really good. Martin wasn't his greatest game. He didn't use the ball unbelievably well, but certainly was damaging enough to ton up. And Matt Crouch was really, really good. Just racked it up, ball magnet. Liberatore, again, it's a tough one for me to tell. I didn't see the game. I saw about a quarter while having a few drinks. So, you know, you're not watching it really close. Um, 75, I saw he was named the third best Bulldog. He obviously played okay, but didn't quite translate to scoring. Walsh, you know, I thought he looked good. You know, 68, it's not a great score, but I thought he looked really good. Went missing at times, but he showed lots of potential. Constable was outstanding. As it turned out, Bailey Scott would have been a better, you know, point selection, but... Um, that's the way it goes. I think I was really pleased with Constable. I certainly thought anything 80 plus you'd take, and, and I was happy with that. Atkins and Gibbons didn't do stacks, but you would imagine they keep their spots. And uh, obviously the loophole there with, with Goldie, he was solid in a, in a disappointing North Melbourne team. And Grundy, you know, started the game well, but as it went on, I think Stanley probably took the honours late in the game. And I think Grundy early, but it resulted in just a so-so score. Forward line, Dangerfield, you know, good without being great. Heaney had some highlights, but didn't have the quantity to it, just the 85. But, you know, again, Sydney were disappointing. He'll be thereabouts. Kelly was really, really good, best on ground in my opinion. And I thought he probably deserved a 120, but... A couple of turnovers hurt him. Really good game, though. Darcy Moore, I thought, played really well. 
you know, showed some signs that he could really average 80 odd. You know, I think he definitely seems like he's going to get enough kick ins, really good overhead intercepting. He'll turn up at some point and we'll probably cop a 65 at another point. But I think an average of 80 is very possible. Setterfield, again, a bit like Walsh and that, I thought he looked really good. Wasn't in the game for it its entirety. You know, he had moments where he went missing. But from an overall perspective, I thought there was a lot to work with. And Willem Drew was outstanding. You know, I pumped him up early on in the preseason. I've seen him play a lot of footy through his junior days. I'm pretty happy that, you know, he delivered and um, certainly backed up the high praise that I gave him. Parker on the bench was great. Petrocelli, you know, looked lively. But again, West Coast were disappointing. And he'd like to think if he can hold his spot and West Coast have a few wins, he might be able to get on the end of a couple of goals and, and find his way to a 70 or an 80. But certainly didn't happen at the Gabba. So, look, overall, pretty happy. You know, I dare say, you know, I might, uh, might do a bit of that action. Um, have a couple of sons on the bench and... You know, it'd be tough to drop Constable, you wouldn't think. you give Walsh another opportunity, but Scott's looked really, really good. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll assess that Constable and, and Scott debate. And um, look, Parker almost warrants selection as well, but I thought Setterfield looked really good too, so I'll just have a bit of a think on that. I don't have to make those decisions just yet. Um, but yeah, I, I think, look, overall, I was happy enough. Happy enough. I think the only scores that I was disappointed, I was really disappointed with Oliver. You know, really disappointed with him. A bit underwhelmed with Heaney, um, Liberatore. And I mean, obviously Collins, but everyone has him. So it didn't hurt me as such. Um, but yeah, look, there's there's enough to work with. I'm pretty content with how it all went. We want to build. You don't want to have another week like this week or else you start to lose traction. But hopefully a few more of my guys can go big and we can really start to push up beyond that 20K mark in the rankings. So see so how we go. Hopefully you had a good week first up. Let me know how you went. Um, I will be posting a draft video soon. I've been meaning to do that, but just it sort of ran out of time and needed to post some classic stuff. So the draft one, which I did get off to a winning start in that at the very least. So I'll have something up on that. But um, yeah, stay tuned. Obviously been a big, big pre-season. I don't think the um, frequency of videos will be there now. I might just take a deep breath and and be back for a bit of a preview towards the weekend once our teams come out and that. I would like to do some Q&A stuff in some regard. It's just a matter of finding time and the, and the best way to go about it. So if you've got some thoughts, let me know. You know, I could go live. I could just, you know, answer your questions as you comment them um, from this video. It won't be for this week, so don't don't feel like you have to ask a question, but um, it's something I've been thinking about. So let me know what you think. I'll be back soon, and cheers.